Marcus Rashford facing Man United transfer dilemma ahead of Eric Ten Hag's arrival. Marcus Rashford faces an anxious wait to discover whether he will play a big part in Eric Ten Hag's plans for Manchester United's future. Reports surfaced this week hinting that both Rashford and United might be open to going separate ways this summer. Rashford's future has been under scrutiny for several months with his United form nosediving rapidly across the last year. A shoulder injury was considered the initial cause of his troubles which started to surface during the second half of the last campaign, and it was hoped the surgical procedure which took place in August might have played a key role in helping him rediscover his best form. The 24-year-old was sidelined until mid-October but returned with three goals in four matches, raising expectations that we were about to see the best version of the striker once again. However, Rashford's form again tailed off very quickly, and he's managed to find the back of the net just twice since then. It's not only been a lack of goals, but also the lame nature of his all-round performances that have caused big concerns for United fans. He was dropped for Monday night's victory over Brentford, and these latest reports suggest that might have been his last opportunity to play for United at Old Trafford. When it was announced that Eric Ten Hag would take over as new manager in the summer, there was an initial school of thought that this could be a beneficial change for Rashford, particularly given the Dutchman's excellent track record of working with and developing younger players. Yet the news that the club might be open to selling the 24-year-old does hint that United officials aren't as convinced and some of their concerns will inevitably relate to how Ten Hag's philosophy and Rashford's playing style differ. The Dutch manager is revered for his slick total football philosophy which focuses heavily on possession and building through the lines. Chances for his side are most often created by relying on good technical attackers who have the ability to split open defences and who are unfazed operating within congested areas deep inside the opposition's half. You only have to look at Ajax's dominating possession average of over 65% this season to know that they spend large periods of time camped inside their opponent's half. During his time at United, Rashford has often been at his best in a more counter-attacking system, where he can run onto through balls or drive at a disrupted defence in transition. It's more than a coincidence that he was one of the players who struggled around the same time that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer tried to implement a more dominating style of play at the club. Playing a system that aims to control the ball and boss territory inevitably means that counter-attacking moments and big spaces to exploit are usually scarce. When he arrives, Ten Hag will be looking to rely more on good technicians inside the final third. Rashford has rarely illustrated himself as that during his United career so far, which is why this summer may be seen by club officials as the right time to cash in on the forward.